Hey guys, uh, as you can tell by the title of the video, it's not one of my normal type of videos. Uh, as the title says, I, I've beaten cancer. Uh, yes, I've not told many people that I've been going through cancer uh, for the past two and a half years now. Uh, due to the fact that I didn't want any sympathy votes, uh, people just watching me because of that sort of thing. Uh, but the cancer did help me become a YouTuber in a strange sort of way. Uh, yes, a few people on YouTube knew, a few of my close friends who I collab with knew about it. Uh, but I, as I said, I didn't want to tell everybody. Uh, started about two and a half years ago, just as I was finishing university. Uh, found a lump on my back and also got a lump just above one of my eyes. Uh, obviously went straight to the doctors, got referred to the hospital. And uh, had done a lot of tests, a lot of tests, lots of biopsies, uh, and eventually found out I had a form of a rare form of skin cancer. Uh, the first thing they did was put me straight on to uh, radiation therapy, guys. Uh, they did quite a lot of that. I think it was something like eight weeks worth of uh, radiation therapy, if I remember rightly. And they got rid of a lot of it, but unfortunately didn't get rid of all of it. Um, my eye was was completely gone. Uh, the lump there had gone, so that was fine. But my back, it was still there. Uh, so the professor, who was the head of my uh, treatment, and all his colleagues got together. They decided best form of treatment would be the chemotherapy. It'd be a long, long term thing. Uh, started off, uh, I think we had 12 weeks worth of weekly doses, uh, really strong doses, which absolutely knocked me out. Uh, I was out for about four or five days after that, basically. Couldn't do much, no energy, just slept constantly. Uh, appetite gone, you name it, everything went uh, for them initial 12 weeks after that. Uh, they put you on something called maintenance. Sounds... sounds all right, but uh, it's still high level chemo therapy and it's pumped into you every three months. Uh, it battles against the cancer and that's what we did uh, for the past two years. Every three months I'd go to the hospital, get another load, it knocked me out for another week and I feel all right after that. Not, not knowing near what I was before my cancer, but I was well enough to do other things where I wasn't originally. Uh, that's where I get to about a year and a half ago. Uh, I was feeling really low, wasn't able to work due to the condition, due to the treatment and uh, I started playing a lot of games with my friends online uh, and one day Katie said to me well, you watch YouTube a lot, other games, you play a lot of games, why don't you try it? You know, something to keep your mind off it, uh, off having the cancer, having the treatment. And I thought, well, why not? So I started slowly, just a couple of videos every now and then, and it started picking up. And to be honest, it really worked. It took my mind off having treatments, having, having cancer. And that's one of the main things I needed at that point was to take myself out of that situation it's not for everyone not everybody who has cancer needs that sort of thing but I felt I needed to at that point so that's why I started doing YouTube was actually a byproduct of me going through chemotherapy uh, but as I progressed I got more and more into YouTube as you guys know I do it it's basically become full-time at the minute um, but because of that, because I was feeling a bit more energised, a bit more like my old self, not 100% like my old self, but getting there, uh, I decided to go and do some part-time work. Uh, as you guys know, I work for Warrington Town Football Club, uh, film their games, do the match analysis, etc. Uh, so I do that, so that's what I used to do before my chemo. I, I finished, as I finished university, where I did my sports degree, I was also at... Uh, Stoke City Football Club's Academy, uh, doing a year with them, doing analysis. That's what I wanted to do, but because of the cancer, I had to stop. I it was I just left Stoke and I got the cancer. So basically, I was getting my, I, I started getting my life back. I'm working with Warrington, doing my YouTube. So in a way, guys, you guys watching my channel, giving me that mo motivation to get up, do live streams, do more videos because I want to 
entertain you guys. It gives me that motivation to get up and do something instead of just wallowing away, laying in bed, not wanting to move, feeling sorry for myself. And I just want to say a big thank you to you guys because if I didn't, didn't get any views, I probably wouldn't have carried on like after a month or two. I've probably just gone, ah, I can't be bothered and gone back to the way I was, which wouldn't have helped me at all. And myself and Katie's relationship would have <laughs> been at loggerheads at that point because she was frustrated because she knew what I was like beforehand. I was very active, very outgoing, and it sort of changed a bit because of going through the chemo. Uh, but as you can tell, guys, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a bit more extrovert, shall we say. Uh, I talk a lot on camera to you guys. I play a lot of games. I, I don't care if people criticise me on on Facebook, on YouTube, Twitter, etc. Oh, he's a fat so-and-so, he's ugly, he's this, he's that. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't actually bother me. It did the first few weeks due to what I was going through, but it doesn't really bother me now. But as I said, it was you guys. You, you guys are the main reason that I got up each day, did a video, did live streams. So all I want to do, guys, is say a big thank you to you guys for helping me through one of the hardest parts of my life. Uh, it's almost an up and upwards now, guys. You all know what else is going on in my life. I'm moving into a new house. I've got a baby on the way, so... <laughs> uh, things things are definitely, definitely looking up. And I just want to say thank you for all your support, guys. I'll speak to you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.